Plant breeding is the purposeful selection and propagation of plants with more desirable characteristics and eliminating those with less desirable characteristics. Classical plant breeding also includes the deliberate crossing of individuals of the same species to produce new offspring with desirable traits. Plants are crossbred to introduce traits and genes from one line into a different genetic background. For example, a disease-resistant tomato plant may be crossed with a flavorful but disease-susceptible tomato, the goal of the cross being to introduce disease resistance into a delicious and desirable tomato variety. For thousands of years, farmers and plant breeders relied on simple selection of naturally occurring variants that had desirable characteristics. That began to change as we began to understand the mechanisms of genetic inheritance. Gregor Mendel was one of the first to shed light. Gregor Mendel's experiments with peas led to our basic understanding of plant genetics. Mendel worked with seven characteristics of pea plants. Plant height, pod shape, pod color, seed shape, seed color, and flower position and flower color. A classic Mendelian experiment might have looked like this. When Mendel crossed two pure breeding parent peas, one of smooth seed and one of wrinkled seed, all of the resulting progeny were smooth. However, if the seed from those plants were grown up and self-pollinated, wrinkled seeds appeared again in the subsequent generation. With meticulous crosses, he laid the foundational knowledge for our understanding of dominance and recessiveness of genes and their patterns of inheritance. This set the stage for the science of plant breeding. Many scientists over the next several decades would build on Mendel's principles of inheritance, leading us to eventually understand that these packets of heritable traits were located on chromosomes. Building on that knowledge, subsequent scientists showed that chromosomes are comprised of DNA. Then Watson and Crick showed that DNA is a double helical molecule. Still other scientists show that DNA is converted to RNA and then to functional proteins, what we now call the central dogma of molecular biology. Scientists have continued to build on these fundamental discoveries that form the field of genetics, with each new discovery building on the work of previous scientists. Over 60 years since Watson and Crick described the structure of DNA, we now better understand the structure of genes, how they're controlled, how they're influenced by the environment, and how they're passed from one generation to the next.